Hello everybody and welcome. I am Alexander Spinelli of Lawn Boom Media and I'm coming here today with a quick microphone comparison of a sunken CS3E shotgun microphone versus a Sennheiser MKH416 P48 microphone for the purposes of ENG and run and gun documentary filmmaking. Now I'm using this in a scenario where there's a lot of noise around me. I started up my diesel car. Uh, there is a little bit of wind. Now I only have one dead cat, uh, Softy on the Sonkin, so I had to put a couple socks on the Sennheiser. Hopefully it's not um, affecting it too much. But I got some construction work behind me. There's a lot of birds. Uh, there is a lot of melting snow and a lot of uh, water running around all over the place. So this is not the most ideal scenario, but it is definitely a realistic scenario in the ENG world. So I personally had the MKH416 prior to this, and I was looking for a microphone that would perhaps isolate my subject's uh, words, the interview, in a high noise environment and I was doing some research and it seemed like the Sonken CS3E was made for just that situation but I could not find any direct comparison so here we are. I'm running both microphones through a uh, Sound Devices 633 mixer recorder going into a Canon uh, C300. A, the Sennheiser 416 is going into my left ear and the Sonken CS3E is into my right ear so to hear this comparison appropriately you will need to wear headphones. Uh, just a quick specs on the microphones. The Sonken is made in Japan. It is a super cardioid and has a 50 to 20 kilohertz uh, frequency range and it is 4.23 ounces. And by the looks of it, there really isn't much of a lobe or pickup pattern in the back of the microphone. Now the Sennheiser on the other hand is a hypercardioid, has a lower frequency range of 40 to 20 kilohertz, 20,000 kilohertz and only weighs 5.82 ounces. So it's a little bit heavier, but still relatively light. And it does have a slight lobe and pickup pattern in the rear. Now I'm just going to read a little bit of an excerpt from this book, The Greatest Night, uh, just to give you an idea of how these microphones sound in a narrative or interview scenario. In the late spring of 1217, it fell on William Marshall, now some 70 years old, to fight for King Henry III's right to rule England. The Earl understood that only a clear-cut victory against the French would cement the young monarch's legitimacy and snuff out a baronial rebellion. William drew up, drew up his forces at Northampton in the center of the country, waiting for an opportunity to strike. Then suddenly, in early May, a slim chance presented itself. Prince Louis was determined to sweep up the remaining pockets of royalist resistance in eastern England before driving westwards. With this objective in mind, he divided his army in two, leading a force to besiege Dover Castle on the 12th of May, while a second contingent was sent north. All right, so I'm going to review this back on my computer and we'll see how this turns out. Maybe I'll do some more tests on these microphones, but I hope this helps on uh, any sort of decision you have to make when it comes to purchasing a mic uh, for journalism and run and gun documentary filmmaking. This is Alexander Spinelli signing off. Okay, so I figured I'd do another couple of quick tests, uh, one from the, where the microphone is slightly bef uh, below the subject. This is uh, the Sonken CS3E. Uh, probably about six to eight inches below my face right now and we're now just above my face right here a little bit off to the side I'm gonna rotate it one two one two check check one two one two uh, this is a sunken CS3E going through a Canon C300 microphone and a sound devices 633 mixer recorder all right, now I'm going to spin it 180 degrees. Check, check, one, two. Sonken CS3E is a microphone that's made in Japan. And I'm not actually hearing too much in the back. That's pretty nice. And we are now pointing the microphone at the camera. And I'm looking directly at the XLR connector in the back. And I'm spinning it back around. And it's now pointing towards the diesel car. Uh, we're now a little bit off my face. And now right back on me. And here is a test of the Sunken CS3E just out of frame of our subject during an interview. And, and now the microphone is boomed just above my head out of frame. Uh, this is another scenario that you would also use if you have a second person for sound. Okay, now we have the Sennheiser MKH416. Uh, on a pistol grip uh, directly pointed at my face again about six to eight inches away and we're going to do the same test that we did with the sunken cs3e so right now 
We are boomed just out of frame, right below the subject's mouth for an interview. And right now we are boomed just out of frame above the subject's mouth for an interview. And now we are going to go from my right to my left. One, two, this is a Sennheiser MKH416 shotgun microphone. It is feeding into a Sound Devices 633 mixer recorder and going into a Canon C300. This is on a Rycote pistol grip as well as a Rycote Dead Cat Softy, and it is definitely reducing the wind noise better than, well, a Sockwood. Okay, now let's uh, spin the microphone around uh, 360 degrees and see how that affects the sound. One, two, check, check. Sennheiser 416 MKH microphone made in Germany. Uh, excellent German sound. It's been a standard of the film industry for many years. I am now pointed directly at the XLR in the back, and now I'm spinning it back around. The microphone is now facing my diesel long 240. We are now facing the house that has some construction over there, and now we are back on point.